At this point, we are going to look at an example. Um, I'm not sure that you've actually tried this one or not. I, I couldn't find it in your book. Um, but we're going to look at using the law of sines to find the area of a triangle. Now, this one is, this actually comes from the next section in your book. But it's based on the law of sines, so I thought it would be appropriate to put it in right now. Um, <clears throat> law of sines, the area, it's real simple. It's, it's basically like one-half base times height. And so you have one-half BC sine A, or one-half AB sine C, or one-half AC sine B. If you notice the two sides you're using, pick any two you want, and just make sure to pick the angle of the letter that you didn't use. And you've got the sine. So any way you want to pick it, it works. However, you're not going to usually get to pick the formula before you have the triangle. So if we kind of go ahead, let's label a triangle. Um, they actually start you off like this. And so the first thing we want to find is the third angle. That's the easiest thing to do. So we're going to need it eventually. Uh, 36, 48, and 96 will add to 180. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the law of sines to find the missing side length. Well, let's, let's say we're going to find side length C. And so we work this out, or side length B, sorry. And so this is kind of how it works out. So side length B, it's across from our 48, and so it turns out to be 10.1. Sine of 36 over 8 equals sine of 48 over B. Work that out, you get 10.1. I want to take the formula, and we're going to use the one in the middle, 1 half AB sine C, and sorry for the girls screaming in the background. We're going to do 1 half 8 times, or 1 half times 8 times 10.1 times sine of 96. Okay, and when you work that all the way out, you get 40.2 units squared. Real simple, uh, real quick and easy. This is kind of a, this, this works any time. Uh, normally you'd use 1 half base times height, but the problem here is if I were going to find the height of my triangle, then that would be this particular height, and... <clears throat> if you don't use, and technically what we really did, when you look at this particular problem, the B sine C is actually the height that we were working with. Um, so if you look at any of those, sort of like this part, C sine A or C sine B, that actually finds the height of the triangle, and of course I can rotate that and use any of the angles that I want to. So each of those gives you the three different scenarios. Make sure you know these formulas real quick, real simple. Know how to use them. You know how to use the law of signs. So find the pieces that you need. Plug them in. Real simple problem.